Welcome back, guys, to Jerk the Journeyman. Tonight, we're going to go over 10 more questions that you may see on your journeyman's test. Um, if you haven't seen my last five videos, I believe it is, uh, go back through my library. And I have five same exact video format, but different questions. So go back, take a look at those. If you guys are get, getting something out of this, leave me a like or subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be turning a bunch of these out. Um, and if you guys have questions about a question that you're stumbled on or you're stumbling on or can't figure out what's going on when you're studying for these tests, let me know in the comments and I'll get some answers for you. Besides that, let's get going on this. What you guys came here for. Get this slipped over. Play it. There we go. All right. Um, let me get me moved over here a little bit. So we got a journeyman test question, 10 questions, and this is video number six. All right, first one, cords used in connection of lighting accessories for use with office furnishings shall not exceed blank in length. And they're looking at nine feet, and that's 605.6B1. Guys, remember, when I give you these code references, go through your code book and highlight this. If you have to stop and find it real quick, go ahead and do that. If you want to go through this again, go through this and then go back and uh, watch it again. Do that, but get these highlighted. All right, next one. Overhead connectors for festoon lighting shall not be smaller than blank unless the conductors are supported by a messenger wire. Answer is 12 AUG, um, 225.6B. So you can look uh, in the back under Festoon Lighting in your Keynote um, Appendix, not Appendix, Index, and uh, look up Festoon Lighting. Also, I, I give you a little picture here on what Festoon Lighting looks like. So that's what we're talking about, the little party lights. Next one, Schedule 80 refers to, and that's just the thickness of the PVC conduit. So whenever we have... Um, in the installation of conduit where it can get damaged. Of course, we're using Schedule 80. Uh, we're exposed to weather. Raceways and closed, closing service entrance conductors shall be listed or approved to for use in wet locations and arranged to drain. In this picture, you'll see that how down in this area where they did the connection, they're allowed to drain out. They don't drain into the conduit. And that's in 230.53. Uh, the conductors in type IGS cable shall be, and that's a solid aluminum, 326.104, 326.104. Solar voltaic systems, DC circuits on or in one or two family dwellings shall be permitted to have a maximum voltage of, and that's 600 volts, 690.7. For a Y-Star Delta run connected refrigerant, uh, Hermetic refrigerant motor compressor. The selection of branch circuit conductors between the controller and the motor compressor shall be permitted to be based on blank of either the motor compressor or rated load current or the branch circuit selection current, whatever is greater. That's 72%. You'll find that in 440.32, which is right behind 430, which is your motor. So go right next, uh, the next article over. And that's where you'll find 440.32. Uh, in no case shall the point of attachment of overhead service conductors be less than blank feet above the finished grade. And that's 10 feet, 230.26. So this right here, this attachment point shall not be like uh, lower than 10 feet. The total rating of utilization equipment fastened in place, whoo, that's a lot of words, other than luminaires, which means lights, shall not exceed blank percent of the branch circuit ampere rating where lighting units, cords, and plug connected utilization equipment not fastened in place or both are supplied. And that's 50%. And you'll find that in 21032A2. Non-metallic cable ties and other non-metallic cable accessories used to secure and support cables installed in plenum shall be listed as having a low smoke and blank properties. And it's a... Um, 
heat release, NEC 300.22C1. And this is kind of what they're talking about. Just, just your tie wraps, guys. That's all they're wanting. Guys, that's it. Um, we went through 10 questions, and hopefully you got something out of it. Again, please like and subscribe. And if you guys are still having problems or want some extra one-on-one -on -one coaching, hit me up with this QR code. And also, I do have a Facebook group that we meet and discuss uh, the problems that everyone's having trying to get their journeyman's test passed. And we resolve all the problems um, I'll show you guys the blueprint, how I passed all my state exams from journeyman's to contractors to masters. Um, I share everything on that. And so that is the grid. So go ahead and scan that QR code and get some information from that. Guys, that's all I have tonight. So um, be careful and be safe out there.